Hi everyone. Canadian freestyle skier Sarah Burke has died in hospital after a training accident last week. Burke was seriously injured January 10th at the Superpipe in Park City, Utah. The family revealed that she had gone into cardiac arrest at that time and was resuscitated on the hill. She underwent surgery to repair a tear to an artery that caused bleeding on her brain. Burke was just 29 years old and she was an organ donor. Let's talk some hockey now. Leopard Hurricanes are near the bottom of the standings for a reason. Tuesday, the club blows out uh, Vancouver. Last night, a much different team faced the Kamloops Blazers. First period, Canes with a terrible turnover down low. Right to the stick of Chase Shaber. Damian Ketlow made the first stop, but Brennan Ranford is there to clean up the rebound. one nothing Blazers. Moments later, Landon Oslansky took a bump at center ice. Merrick Herbis found a lane. Nice move around Daniel Johnston, but he missed the net blocker side. Second period. Tyler Hansen with the shot from the line that stopped. They bang away at it and Chase Soto jammed in the home of the rebound. The Blazers lead is now two. Still in the second, Blazers break in three on two. Herbis with the centering pass to Tim Bowes on his one-timer beat Ketlow. Blazers up by three and that was all the scoring. Last night, the Canes are shut out in Kamloops. Damian Ketlow stopped 32 of 35 shots for the Hurricanes. Lethbridge is in Kelowna. Friday night, that game is an 8 o'clock start. Medicine Hat Tigers play last night up in Calgary. The Tigers have yet to lose to the Hitmen this season, and it was the Tigers scoring first in this contest. Brandon Hurley was the benefactor of that big, fat, juicy rebound. 1-0 Medicine Hat. Second period, just 11 seconds in. Tiger star Emerson Edom gets the shorthand a goal. Nice shot, his 38th of the season, and all of a sudden, it's 2-0 Tigers. Then Medicine Hat scored again just 43 seconds later. Watch Curtis Valk get a shot off here. Then grab the loose puck from Hitman goalie Brendan Glover. How easy was that with four Hitmen standing right around him? 3 nothing Tigers. The Hitman called timeout after that goal and tried to regroup. Veteran Jimmy Bobnick with a rocket top shelf on Tyler Buns. Hitman trailed 3-1 to one at that point. But any thoughts of a Hitman comeback ended here? Peter Kostman with a horrible giveaway to Edom. His second of the night made it 4-1 to one Tigers after 40. The Hitman's eight-game winning streak came to a crashing halt. 5-1 to one with the final. Tigers are in Regina tomorrow. One of those scored a pass along from last night. The ice edged Regina 3-2 in overtime. Sam Reinhardt with the tying and winning goals. The ice play in Moose Jaw on Friday. Lethbridge midget Pronghorns were also in action last evening. Canes prospect Johnny Hogue made 31 stops for the Horns in a losing cause, falling to Medicine Hat 6-3. Jordan Wiest, Connor Gross, and Brendan Benson all scored for the Pronghorns. For the second time in less than a week, the Calgary Flames face the LA Kings. The Kings beat the Flames 4-1 on Saturday. This is the second game of a three-game road trip for Calgary. They lost 2-1 in a shootout to the Sharks on Tuesday. For tonight's game, Matt Stajan returns to the lineup. The Flames will again dress seven defensemen for this contest. Canada's Milos Raonic was in second round action at the Australian Open yesterday. The 23rd seed Raonic played Philipp Pechner of Germany. Raonic has a huge serve and he uncorked an ace here that was clocked at 224 kilometers an hour. Leading 3-2 in the first set, Raonic with an excellent forehand to put him ahead 4-2. Raonic definitely has game. He just overpowered his opponent there. Up 5-4 now and about to close out the first set. A forehand winner got the job done. The first set took just 36 minutes to play. Now Pechner won the second set 7-5, but Raonic asserted himself again in the third set, winning 6-2. The slice backhand set up the forehand passing shot to put the set away. He was up 2-1 in the fourth set, tied 4-4 in games. Raonic would break Pechner thanks in part to this wonderful backhand cross-court drop shot. That's brilliant. He'd take the game to go up 5-4. Let's jump ahead now to match point. Raonic leading 6-5 and Pechner will hit the forehand long. So Raonic is off to the third round, winning in four sets. He will face Leighton Hewitt in the third round. Jackie.